All right, so we got this motor template in, but uh, I gotta relocate this brace so that the torque converter can fit in. So I'm gonna cut the welds on both sides and we're gonna scooch it back, take this, it's gonna be made in America now. We're gonna scooch this back so I get the clearance for that torque converter plate. But that little Predator motor fit in, no problems. Woo. Well, a little late, but finished with the swap. Had to bring it home. Standard bolt, standard bolt, metric everywhere else, go figure. Anyway, so torque converters on, plates on. Uh, trimming this back heat shield and some stuff. Uh, remove this timing, I'm sorry, the sprocket chain cover because it would have hit originally in its original spot. Uh, it was still more forward. So now just push it back so I have clearance for the tire. And then I'll weld it back here. That way I could put my uh, sprocket cover on so no one's legs are getting hurt. But it's done. Motor's in. Had to put some spacers, but she's good. I had some issues with the throttle cable. It originally came this way and then went here. However, I had to run it under the tank, come down to this option so that I had a, enough clearance. And then the return spring was a problem. This original one that came around the here was gonna be too short and constricted if I weren't here. So I hit up my boy Donald, he gave me a good idea. You got carburetor return springs, right? And lo and behold, here goes the fucking uh, return spring. Hooked around the heat shield. Now, it goes back all the way, no problems. Not too thick, not too hard, just enough. All right, well, just got done moving some cars around. And uh, a couple more things to do, but she's a runner. Now I drove it up and down. And I think the issue I have when I hit the throttle, it moves this lever, but this also controls the governor inside. So I think the only answer is to remove the governor, but for now it runs. Let's see, uh, chokey choke. Kill switch is wired in here. Modifications, modifications. The awesome maiden China exhaust, which is like fucking just three quarter inch piping. But hey, uh, no bueno. So, uh, got uh, cut the header. We have some pipe, it's about an inch and three quarters. We're gonna space it and it's gonna look something like it is. So, time to weld. All right, so, welded uh, just the outside and the front. That's gonna be sturdy enough there. Uh, was able. To, I was going to start cutting it, but I actually able to reuse everything here. I just tilted it down a little bit so it could clear the chain on the other side. Uh, covers back in the original spot, and this is how far back I had to move this bracket. Uh, so right here, it's about two inches, plus or minus, and I'm going to zerp this 
oil. So I'm just gonna cut this flush with that. And then I could put the cover on the torque converter after cutting the holes for the chain. So this is the stalker. Mine's still stock with the original motor. All I did was a uh, little spring mod. <laughs> this is Efron's finished productos. Fucking pinche charchinas. So I went with the original carb for now. Uh, I don't want to spend a hell of time learning and tuning something that's going to take me a while. So we just got things dressed up, fitted, looking nice. Efron took the Hemi off of the all-around job we did, put it on there. To driving it, it did get a little hot, right. so went home, got some header wrap, wrapped the manifold, the muffler. Looking good. Looking good. He's gotta be doing like 40. That fool's flying. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh yeah, he's happy. That was funny.